Good morning, it's Donna Mulholland, and I'm pleased to be here today interviewing Jane Monteith, who you may know from Instagram as at Jane Loves De Design. And Jane is a successful self-taught artist who works with screening and alcohol inks and other mixed media. Her work is colorful, contemporary, and vibrant, and finished with resin. And she sends it and sells it all around the world. And I found her, or I first saw her on Instagram. Again, her handle is at Jane Loves Design. And at the time that we're doing this interview, she has uh, 25,000 Instagram followers. So she's doing really well. And also, her YouTube channel is really awesome. Uh, very educational. She can show you how to do lots of things. And um, it's, it's great. So I'm thrilled to be here with you today, Jane. And um, I thought we could start off by maybe you could tell me a bit about yourself and your art. Sure. Well, thanks for having me, Donna. Uh, really, it's, uh, it's wonderful to be here. And I think I'm your very first interviewee, correct? So, yay! Yes. <laughs> um, a little bit about me, yes. Um, I've been doing art for a long time. I've always been artistic and creative. It's you know one of those things I think all artists say. It's probably a regular quote, right? <laughs> Um, but uh, I, I've been working with screening inks probably for the last decade. Uh, I used to go around all across my province of Ontario and paint on vinyl substrate. And I loved screening ink because it's very uh, vibrant and there's lots of pigment in it. Uh, so it's very, very colorful and saturated. So when I came across alcohol ink, it was just an easy transition for me. I, I just, I couldn't believe how vibrant it was. Uh, and and full of uh, full of color, uh, so it was just something that I just had to explore and continue using, and so then became uh, you know a process of creating um, art with just strictly alcohol ink, which is all I do now, and of course that's transitioned into my Instagram and on my other platforms, and now I create um, probably what I'm known for, which is my mod mini. So like you mentioned, it's all alcohol ink. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to show it this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, letting you in on a secret, viewers. Jane and I did this the other day, and uh, I had a tech fail, so we're trying again today. <laughs> so this is, um, I first saw this piece of art on Jane's Instagram, and I just loved it. And I waited and waited, and when her last Mod Mini release came out, she had two pieces like similar to this, and um, uh, so I got one. And what what I love about it is I do I just love your sense of of design and vi and the vibrant color like I just find yes. and the resin is so it fits with it so well it has such a modern look so. yeah resin just adds that extra pop and especially with alcohol ink it just just adds that other dimension to it you know yeah. it's, it's just a great finish for sure and I love all the uh, I love on your Instagram um, probably on your YouTube too, but I have to admit I mostly look look at Instagram daily. Um, nice. I love how you show the different ways you make your different papers and things. They're awesome. Yeah. Yes, all the different textures, oh, all the so many different things that you can do with alcohol ink. And I also have, now that I really, I'm in my studio today, I also got one of your posters. Oh, yay! And I yes. just love right. them. They're, they're 12 by 12. Um, uh, yeah, I may never get it framed. I've just kept it in its nice package, and I have it just yeah. leaning against the wall as inspiration. So, yeah, that's great uh, paper on for those. It uh, looks really, really nice on that particular pa poster paper. Yeah. yeah, it looks great. I love it. Um, so I am one of your big fans and very inspired by what you do. And um, I love that you're uh, one of the nice things about social media is that we get to meet people and artists from all over the world. But um, being a Canadian, it is nice to see a, a fellow or sister Canadian doing well. Yeah. Yeah. So um, what I'd like to... Um, ask you today is if you could offer us two to three tips for being successful on Instagram and selling art online. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's, um, wow, there's so many <laughs> things that you could cover, especially when it comes to selling online, which um, is a whole other, you know, topic that you could discuss for forever. 
Um, but as for uh, building your Instagram page, I think, yeah, the top three I would have to say, firstly is uh, your theme and being consistent with that theme. Uh, it depends, you know, what is it? What is your message? What is it that you're trying to share or sell or get across to your uh, your viewers? Viewers, it's kind of like real estate, or if you're purchasing a home, you know, when you walk into a house. Really, you know, within the first, you know, 10 seconds, if you're gonna like that house, it's the same kind of feeling with Instagram. When you go to someone's account and you land on their page, uh, you know instantly uh, if you like it or you don't like it. And if it's confusing for people, you know, you've got pictures of your dog up there, you've got, you know, your latest meal that you know you went out to a restaurant to. It's it's confusing, so you need to keep. Uh, what you're posting consistent so if you are selling art which you know we are uh, then you've got to you know keep posting that same message so that people are understanding and it's clear to them what it is that, that you're sharing and what you're trying to sell so that's that's the first thing I would say is consistency what would you say um, what would you say uh, you mentioned that, or you used the words that part of your theme or your brand is what you want to share with people. So with your art, what are you sharing? So I'm, I'm sharing a lot of my processes, like how I create my art to a certain degree um, and to be inspired by that. So all of those that fall under the umbrella of using alcohol ink, because that, that's what I'm known for and resin. Uh, and the color with with alcohol ink. So all of those underneath that umbrella, so to speak, um, those are the things that I'm sharing, um, and that theme is consistent. So I use the same medium, um, and I don't really, uh, you know, do other things. Although with my YouTube, I do, you know, now post different uh, types of projects. Uh, but again, all visual and all art, but mainly around alcohol ink. So. Cool. Yeah. Um, one thing too, One thing too. Um, I hear a bit of an echo, but I'll, I'll sit back. Um, I forgot to mention uh, in your introduction, but you told me the other day that you've actually really just been on Instagram for like a year and a half. Yes, for this particular account. I've, I've been on Instagram probably, you know, three, four years in total, but with other uh, types of accounts. So. I've just, you know, come to know what works and what doesn't. When it comes to my art account, uh, Jane Loves Design, yes, probably a year to a year and a half that I've built up to uh, what I am now, which you mentioned 25,000. I just hit that today, actually. So. Yeah, that's Thanks. amazing. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. So, yeah, I, again, going back to that consistent theme, that really helps you build a brand. Um, and then you know you asked a couple of other other tips. So uh, I would say the next biggest thing is to post pictures that are clear and sharp and colorful and um, in natural lighting if you can. I know today where I am, it's it's horrible lighting, so I do have some uh, you know studio lights set up onto the side. But if you can take pictures by the window. Uh, and just get that natural lighting. It really makes all of the difference. I just use my my phone, my iPhone, uh, and this is I think this is 6s plus. I just use that. That's all I use for my my photos. Um, and you know, there's some other apps that you can use to uh, enhance those photos. But I think if you can leave them unfiltered and natural, it is the best uh, best way to go. I, I I don't know what the algorithms are on Instagram, but I do know they like colorful, bright, vibrant sharp clear photos yeah your That's photos awesome. your photos are, are great and when you look at um, um, your Instagram profile your your grid um, it really does have a nice cohesive theme and the natural lighting that you're using um, your colors really pop so I can see why in Instagram and and the rest of us um, are so attracted to to your feed um, any any other tips you'd like to share with us? Uh, number three, I would have to say probably video. If I know it's hard and a lot of people don't have the time necessarily, but if you can post one video a day, uh, that kind of content is king on all platforms. Like video is, you know, what it is. It's it's there today. It's popular. It's going to stick around forever. I think so. 
Uh, it doesn't have to be the minute that you know you're allowed, even even if it's just 30 seconds. I think that really helps you get into that search feed. Uh, and bring you up into uh, the rankings, so to speak. I think that's important. Um, you don't have to post, you know, six times a day. I generally post two to three times a day at the most. But if I can get a video in there, I think that's, you know, that says a lot for sure. Well, those are all great tips, um, and um, I really thank you for um, sharing those with us. Um, but you also have some other good news to share, uh, things to share with us where you'll be able to um, share your experience even even more with us. And so I understand you have some e new e-courses coming up. I do, yay. I'm really excited. They're launching uh, June. June 1st is the, is the launch date. And that's going to be all, again, around Alcohol Inc. and my specific process, my techniques, on uh, creating uh, textures with it with alcohol inks and specifically uh, how to create my mod minis my whole entire process for that it's my number one asked a question what is the process so I've just decided that I'm going to make that an actual course uh, as well as my whole resin process and troubleshooting there's a lot of issues that are uh, that occur with resin so I'll address and I all of those within within those courses and then after that, the natural progression, of course, is um, selling online. So after these courses are launched in the fall, I'll be coming out with building a brand and marketing strategies around selling online as well, because that's, that's massive. I think a lot of people just really don't have any clue how to sell online. And it is the way of the future. And, it, you know, you, a lot of people have this beautiful art, and it's sitting in their studio, and they just don't know the very first step, you know, what do I do? How do I sell online? So that's coming in the fall for that. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't wait. They both sound um, just uh, super awesome. Um, but particularly for me personally, the, the second one, I'm quite, I'm quite interested in. Um, it's really quite interesting um, how things are changing or how they've changed because um, I know for, for me, um, I had something up on my Instagram stories this morning while I was putting in time before we tried this again, um, and I was posting pictures of art that I've recently bought on Instagram, and I just had a few minutes to pick things out, and and really, for me, I think the last six or seven pieces of art I have purchased, have it's been on Instagram, and, yeah. and it's been... Um, I like being. I like the feeling of of uh, getting to know an artist a bit and and seeing their process and uh, being yes. able to check in with them. <laughs> it sounds like yeah. I'm a stalker, but <laughs> no, it's true because that's the that is the way uh, that people purchase. You don't just uh, walk in or to the store necessarily the very first time and buy something. There's an actual uh, process of building a relationship with somebody and you know online now that's that's how it works so you you have to build a relationship you have to have communication and there has to be a strategy around that and how do you how do you sell to those people so uh, yeah there's lots of steps and, and lots of methods on, on, on doing that and I'll definitely be covering all of that for sure and in fact I just got a, a big commission uh, from a, a client in Mexico all through Instagram and we didn't even you know, speak on the phone. It was all done through messaging, which is, which is, you know, ridiculous. Like, I can't even believe that's how people buy now. You don't even have to talk to anybody on the phone. It's all done visually and, and online. So it's definitely the way to go. I know. I, I love it. And um, um, where I am, um, I'm sure there are probably people younger than me who are, are, are active online and selling online but for people of my age uh, people look at me like I've got horns coming out of my head or something like they really don't get why are you spending so much time on Instagram well I enjoy it number one because it yeah. is the relationships and it is such a visual medium that's very satisfying if if that's what inspires you which that's yeah. what inspires me but um, it's a lot easier to be sitting at home in your pajamas uh, listening to your phone beep because you just got to say, you know, than it is 
trucking it all out to a gallery or a show. Right, and of course, galleries, as you know, take such a you know large percentage uh, of your sale that you know you think, wow, why do I need to go to a gallery if I know how to sell online? Um, yeah, it's, and the great thing is, like you said, it's visual, and that's the thing for artists. If you can promote your art visually on Instagram, it's it's perfect. It's a perfect a relationship for artists. For yeah, sure. I I agree. Um, so you've got this good stuff coming down the pipe. Where can people find out more about you so that they can be around for the launch in June? Well, I think probably the best uh, way to contact me or to see uh, more about my work and, and where you can link to is probably through Instagram at Jane Loves Design because in my, in my link or in my profile, I have several other links then that take you to uh, my website, I have several websites. I have janemonteith.com and then I have one dedicated to just my mod minis, which is modminiart.com. Uh, and then you mentioned my YouTube channel and uh, some other platforms. I'm also on Facebook. But honestly, Instagram is, is you know the way to really uh, find me and all of those other links. Awesome. Thank you so much. We know where to. We'll go to your profile and click on your link and find out everything we need to join your mailing list and be in the know for what's coming next. So thank you very much, Jane, for experience, oh, thanks, Donna. sharing your experience with us this morning. Um, you're, you're an inspiration to me, as you are to many others. And yeah. we will, including we and me, will be watching for the launch of your e-courses coming in June and in the fall. So thank you very much. Thanks, Donna. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.